Let's talk about ads on YouTube. If you're an eligible creator in the YouTube Partner Program, ads are one of the many ways you can earn revenue from your videos, shorts, and live streams. In this video, we'll walk through a bit about advertiser-friendly guidelines and how to enable and manage ads on YouTube. Brands come to YouTube to connect with potential customers, and it's important to them that their advertisements only show against content that aligns with their brand. Advertiser-friendly content is appropriate for most audiences and doesn't include sensitive themes like inappropriate language, violence, or drug use. It's important to note that all aspects of your content are taken into account, so not just what you show in your video, short, or live stream, but also your titles, descriptions, thumbnails, and tags. Be sure to check out the advertiser-friendly content guidelines in our YouTube Help Center, which will give you full policy details and examples. Once you're an eligible creator who's been accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, you can earn ad revenue from different formats on your channel. So now, let's talk about what you need to do to earn from ads with your videos, shorts, and live streams. First, let's walk through how ads work for videos. Once you're eligible to earn from ad revenue, you'll have the option to turn ads on or off for specific videos. For new videos, you can control this during the upload flow. At the monetization step under ads, choose on. When you turn ads on for your videos, YouTube can select and place pre-roll ads, which show before your video and could be skippable or non-skippable, and post-roll ads, which show after your video and could be skippable or non-skippable. Ad formats are selected by balancing the viewer experience and creator revenue. If your video is long enough, you will also have the option to place ads during your video, which are called mid-roll ads. Mid-roll ads can also be skippable or non-skippable, and when you check the box to turn them on, they'll be automatically placed at natural breakpoints. If you want to change where these appear in your video, click Review Placement. You can edit the timecode of the ad breaks or drag and drop in the timeline to where you'd like them to be. You can also add an ad break, delete an ad break, or if you've made edits and changed your mind, you can discard changes or choose to have YouTube place them automatically. You can also enable ads on previously uploaded videos. To do this, go to YouTube Studio, then Content. You can click the monetization icon on an individual video, or use the checkboxes to select the videos you want, then click Edit. To turn monetization on or off entirely for the selected videos, choose Monetization. To turn mid-rolls on or off, choose Ad Settings. Choose if you want to apply these changes to videos without ad breaks or all videos. Note that you can't change mid-roll placement when changing ad settings for multiple videos. That has to be done in the individual video settings. To implement your changes, click Update Videos. You can also set upload defaults for mid-rolls at the channel level. To do this, go to YouTube Studio, then Settings. Select Upload Defaults, then go to Monetization. These settings will apply as a default to any future video you upload. And you can still change ad settings for specific videos during the upload flow if you'd like. Now, let's walk through how ads work on Shorts. Each month, revenue from the ads appearing between Shorts and the Shorts feed will be added together and used to reward monetizing Shorts creators and cover the cost of music licensing. Because Shorts don't have traditional watch pages like long-form videos, this approach helps reward all monetizing creators who make up the Shorts experience, not just those who have an ad next to their video. And as an added benefit, this model lets creators achieve their creative vision without worrying about copyright or earning less due to using music. So there's no need or ability to enable ads for individual Shorts to earn from them. But before you start to earn ad revenue from Shorts, you'll need to accept the Shorts monetization module in YouTube Studio. Finally, let's talk about ads on live streams. Live streams can be eligible for pre-roll ads, mid-roll ads, and display ads. You can enable monetization when creating a mobile live stream or in live control room. If you're creating a mobile live stream, on the stream detail screen, tap Advanced Settings. Then, enable monetization to turn ads on for your stream. When you create a live stream in Live Control Room, click Edit to go to the monetization page, where you'll have the option to turn monetization on or off 
and you can choose your ad settings for mid-roll ads. You can let YouTube insert mid-roll ads for you automatically or manually choose how mid-roll ads appear. If you let YouTube insert mid-roll ads for you, you can choose from three different frequencies. Conservative, which gives a less interrupted viewer experience but results in lower earnings potential. Balanced, which gives a normal viewer experience and medium earnings potential. Or aggressive, which offers high earnings potential but with a more interrupted viewer experience. With any of these options, YouTube will determine which ad formats are best for your live stream and when ads appear to optimize your earnings and your viewers experience. If you want to manually set up your mid-roll ads, you can choose what type of ads may show, set a mid-roll frequency, or choose to insert them manually, which you can do during your stream using the insert mid-roll icon. Once your live stream starts, if you have YouTube insert mid-roll ads, they will start appearing at the frequency you selected. Before an ad appears, you'll get a notification when an ad is about to be served during your stream. If it's not a good time, use the delay ads button, which pauses mid-roll ads from displaying for 10 minutes. You can also manually place a mid-roll ad at any time by clicking the insert mid-roll icon. You can also set default ad settings for your live streams by clicking the settings icon in live control room. Choose your desired mid-roll settings, then click save. These settings will automatically apply to every new stream you create. For more information about ads on YouTube, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.